So I started teaching at the police academy in 2016 and then uh, after that I became an adjunct in the criminal justice department um, and I was still in the courtroom and doing all of that, those things um, but the best parts of my day I started to realize were the hour and 15 minutes I spent in the classroom and you know over the course of a couple of years I realized that, that that was where I wanted to be um, and so when the full-time faculty position became open, I thought to myself, I think now's the time. Um, and so, you know, I, I had, was blessed with a wonderful career in the courtroom, um, but I just really enjoyed being with the students and interacting on a different level. I try to incorporate all of the things that I've learned in the real world and bring them into the classroom, but also bring the students to the real world things. We go on a lot of field trips, we have a lot of guest speakers, a lot of interaction. Um, I think it's one thing to talk about it in the classroom, but if we can talk about it and then I can take them there and they can see how it works in the real world, you know, application as well as lecture is how I like to set up my classrooms. Criminal justice actually has a wide array of paths that students usually don't realize that they can follow. Um, there's the obvious, you know, police, law enforcement, first responder. Um, but there's also, you know, uh, dispatcher, court reporter, courtroom clerk, um, EMT, you know, any, any sort of first responding job. And there's all kinds of courtroom jobs uh, that are civilian jobs that require a degree, but the criminal justice degree would be perfect for that. We talk about stenographers, which is a court reporter. Um, and, you know, they, they would be on track for that. or. Um, someone who's in charge of the courthouse. You know, the administrative person who's in charge of the courthouse, that would also qualify as criminal justice. Or you could take your criminal justice degree anywhere. You could take it to teach. Um, you could take it into a business field. Uh, so it really is a wide, it's a, it gives you a wide option. I'm originally from north of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I uh, came down here for college. I went to University of Maryland College Park where I graduated with um, a bachelor's degree in English, language, and literature, uh, and a minor in dance, which I guess is a fun fact. Um, and then I went to law school at University of Baltimore. When I graduated law school, I moved down here and I clerked for Judge Beckstead, uh, Judge Kathleen Beckstead in the Circuit Court for Wicomico County for a year. And then from there, I went to the State's Attorney's Office for Wicomico County in 2008 and I stayed there for 13 and a half years. Um, and it was a great 13 and a half years. I was given the opportunity to do so many things that I wouldn't have been able to do in perhaps a larger office, like a Baltimore City or a Baltimore County office. So I got to prosecute a wide array of cases. Um, and I ended up being in charge of the violent crime unit for the last six years. So I prosecuted all the murders, rapes, and robberies from Salisbury City. Uh, and I also prosecuted most of the human trafficking cases along with Homeland Security um, that were happening in the Lower Shore. So Somerset County up to the bridge usually um, is what we looked at. Um, after I left the state's attorney's office um, in 2020, sort of in the very beginning of the pandemic, and I went to a private firm. Um, it's a national firm who has deep roots in Maryland. And so there I was able to do a completely different things. So I did a lot of family law, um, a lot of civil, um, some estates and trusts, um, and a little bit of criminal defense. And then I stayed there for almost three years. And then when the full-time faculty position opened here, I applied. I was doing some adjuncting while I was at that firm, and that firm was really great. They were kind enough to let me work for them and also teach you know, here one class a week, which was wonderful. It's a completely different environment than the courtroom environment, and what I love best about Warwick are the students. Um, they are, it's just such a wide variety of students, and they're all um, very eager to learn in different ways, so it's fun to try to figure out different ways to connect with them. But also, everybody at Warwick has been extremely welcoming. 
And I know everybody says that, you know, everyone new, new hire is like, oh, everyone's so nice. But they really have been, like, if I have an IT question, I mean, it gets answered in a day. If I have a question about, you know, student services or what path a student needs to take, you know, I know I can contact the advising department and they're going to get back to me. Um, and so it's just been really easy to transition and everyone here has made it that way. So it's nice to know that there's support for everybody. I feel very supported as a full-time faculty.